this is just a quick follow-up video I'm making for this Ryden RD6006 power controller. I made a few videos about a week ago uh, showing assembling this device and uh, some initial testing I was doing with it. And I pointed out there was one feature on here that I really didn't like and I thought it was fairly dangerous. Not so much a danger to sort of health and safety but uh, a potential danger to the equipment that you might be using this to develop or repair and I've had a few comments firstly saying it doesn't actually do what I said it did uh, or that it's not really a, a dangerous feature and I think it's it's partly a matter of um, personal preference I personally think it's it's fairly dangerous um, but also I realized I hadn't made it that clear in the video as to exactly what I thought the issue was and it relates to the fact that this supply uh, has some uh, programmable memory and you can store up to 10 different configurations uh, within the power supply and you can recall those uh, as and when you need them. Now the issue that I would found that I don't like relates to the recalling of the memory. So currently I have this disconnected so the output's fairly safe and just by way of demonstration I have memory slot 1 programmed to 5 volt at 0.1 amp and I have memory slot 2 programmed to 60 volts at 5 amps and as you can see what happens normally this is the default out of the box behavior which I think is fine when I select between these different memory slots if I have the, the output turned on currently we have 60 volts going to the output if I select a different memory slot it tells me what I'm going to um, select. I press enter. It selects the new configuration but also it turns the output off which I think is uh, a very good idea. Um, especially if I'm at 5 volts as I am now and I select memory slot 2 although it's telling me what I'm selecting it's still a good idea that it turns the output off and then I have to check it and reselect before 60 volts appears at the output terminals. But what I think is dangerous is there are two options. The first one I'll modify if we go into the menu, we'll come to this menu system and this is made worse by the fact they're not particularly clearly identified in terms of their function. So it's the first two, call OK and call out. So I modify them one at a time. So if I change the first one I'll set that to off and now we'll exit the uh, menu system and what happens now is if we select the first option which is the 5 volts or the second notice now that it's not giving us that warning message that appeared telling us what we were selecting uh, however it is relatively safe because if the output's turned on if I select the alternate it turns the output off which is the behavior I would uh, much prefer it to have especially as it's not now um, showing me what I'm about to select however the option I felt was dangerous and this is the point I was making in the video is if I go and I select the call out option and I turn that on then I exit the menu if we select 5 volts for example, not only does it not turn the output off, it actually turns the output on. So if the output's off and I select M2, which is 60 volts, it turns the output on. Not only that, but of course if I now select a different option, the output stays on. Okay, that's, that's fine you might think. Um, but I think it's uh, it's dangerous. What I've got here is a uh, it's obviously a simple transistor, but this could represent a very rare and expensive piece of equipment that you're uh, designing or, or, or repairing. You wouldn't normally, of course, use a power supply for something rare or expensive, but it could be uh, you know fairly important to you. So I'll connect the output. It's obviously just wired across the transistor, and this is just by way of demonstration as to why I think this uh, is dangerous. If we have 5 volts selected and you decide to select a different uh, memory slot but you accidentally hit the wrong key, so if I now hit shift it puts us into a memory select option. If I now press the wrong key on here 
then it's just blown the ball to pieces. You can see it's blown this uh, transistor uh, top off. So that could have been a, a big expensive mistake to make. If this had been a big expensive board, then it would have been destroyed. You would have put 60 volts at up to six amps through it and uh, that would have ruined your entire day. So I'll just uh, demonstrate it again, just in case uh, it didn't come across on camera, it was fairly quick. So as you can see, if I select a different voltage, it does that fine. I'll just now hook up our very expensive uh, IBM mainframe. Okay, so we have our expensive board hooked up. We're at 5 volts, 0.1 amp limit. But as I said, if we accidentally press the wrong key, in this mode it will instantly go to 60 volts without giving us uh, any further warning. And as you can see, uh, the magic smoke will escape and that can definitely ruin, uh, ruin your entire day. So that was the, the point of my comment, is that uh, with it in its normal default configuration it's fine, um, but I thought it worth pointing out in the video that if you do select these options then it can turn it into what I believe is now a dangerous configuration. And I did say in my video that I wouldn't be using that feature, I will be leaving it in its, its default state, which is to give me a warning that it's um, going to uh, change the voltage, uh, but also to make sure the output is turned off when it does that and that's what these first two options do. So now it's back to being what I believe is a safe supply. So hopefully that's clarified that. Apologies if I didn't make that clear in the previous videos but that was the, the basis of um, my comment in that I, I don't believe that's a good option. If you do want to be able to easily change between one voltage and another uh, you can still do that. So if the output is on and you want to change smoothly, I'll just select uh, 5 volts. If you want to change smoothly between uh, 5 volts and 6 volts, for example, you can still do that, and it doesn't take any more key presses, so if we're at 5 volts, and if we want 6 volts, it's V6, enter, and you can smoothly change between voltages uh, as and when you want to, and you can do that easily and without any uh, real headache. You don't need to use a memory feature to actually do that. Hopefully that's clarified it. As ever, any comments are welcome.